within maybe almost a year's time, the cabaret card was abolished in New York. And I got noticed that I could come back and play again. I had started working with Harold Land, and so I told Harold, I said, I want you to join me and come back to New York and play, you know. And so we we started uh, coming back and playing in slugs. From that, I met a guy named Lutz Bacher. He enjoyed the group, and we started touring Europe. And we were recording three to four albums a year on Blue Note at that point because Alfred wanted to hear all the new things coming out of our minds then because of the black revolution that was going on around in, all, in every city, you know. I grew up in Pasadena and New York became, you know, like a concrete city and I, I, I had changed my way of living to being in New York. And then after a while I wanted to come back and be with the trees and grass, and, and do some other things that would influence my way of playing, because you play what you eat. At that point, Randall heard about all oh, the music that was starting to happen, and asked me to come and play here in San Francisco at SF Jazz. And at that time, it was called Jazz in the City. Herbst Theater was the very first, I may have met you before that, but it was the, the, that first, was the, that was the first gig. That was the, Jazz in the City. Jazz in the City, and it was a gig at the Green Room, and it was a duo, you and George Cables. Yeah, yeah. And I can remember some of the repertoire for that night. Really? Yeah. After a while, Randall, he wanted me to come in and, and be part of the collective. With the collective, I was start, starting to say, well, I don't know how long I'll be able to do it. My health was changing, and when it started getting into touring, I, I wasn't a young man who could, you know, like live out of a suitcase anymore, you know. I have emphysema. I keep oxygen going all the time. I wanted to be home with trees and grass and be with my family, be on my boat fishing, make applesauce. I hope you musicians don't get mad because I make applesauce. I, <laughs> I have this apple juice, you know. I made some apple juice the other day that was just dynamite. I mean, you just put it in a juicer. Oh, man. Anyway.